hi, welcome to my international cooking channel. Today I'm going to make a dish called a samosa. Samosa is an Indian snack. It's an appetizer, as you all know. It goes perfect with coffee and tea. I have made hundreds of hundreds of samosa at work, and this recipe goes to a lot of my friends at work, so they know what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is my version of making samosa. This is not a traditional way of making samosa. Let's go learn how to make it. Okay, so the ingredients. Here I have a flour tortilla. When you go to the store, you can find varieties of tortilla. It doesn't matter. You can pick any kind of tortilla. You can also use chapati as well. The only thing that I prefer is you want to pick the same size. This is a medium-sized tortilla. You don't want to pick large size and you don't want to pick smaller size. So this is a size that I prefer. Then the other thing that you need is the potatoes. So I actually boiled the potato and I made it into cubes. I cut it into cubes and then I boiled it. And this is how soft it should come out. And just remember when you boil the potato, sprinkle some salt in it so that it absorbs the um, um, this potato absorbs a little bit of salt. Then what I have here is a half of onion finely chopped. I have half a cup of peas. Then I have, um, I would say quarter cup of cilantro. Then I have one teaspoon of garam masala. I have quarter teaspoon of Kashmiri chili or any kind of chili you can use. It's very optional, depends on how spicy you want it. Then I have half a teaspoon of ginger and a half a teaspoon of garlic together. I have one teaspoon of cumin seed. Then I also have turmeric for the color. Okay, so here I have the pan frying pan on and I'm gonna put a little bit of oil and we have to saute the onion, ginger, garlic, and get a masala and all that together. So one thing I wanted to tell, this, this recipe goes to a lot of my friends, uh, American friends also, that's why I wanted them to know. I did not say mustard seed in the ingredients. You don't have to have this. This is a mustard seed that I'm gonna add in this, but you don't have to have it, it's very optional. So once it's popped, like I said, you don't have to have this. This is very optional. Once this is popped, you hear the popping sign, I mean sound. You hear the popping sound. Here, pop, 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 pop. So once it's finished popping, then I put, I add the onion, all the finely chopped onions. What you're trying to do is you're trying to cook this onion just a little bit so the raw taste and everything will go away halfway cooked you don't have to completely cook it so much you can just do halfway cooked so our onion is halfway cooked now i'm going to add cumin seed then i'm going to add ginger garlic paste and then just get the raw taste out of this too just cook it for like a minute. And I'm gonna add a little pinch of uh, turmeric. Just a little pinch, just for the color, okay? So this might be a um, quarter teaspoon. Well, uh, turmeric is also an anti-inflammatory, so it's good for the, um, it's good for your body. So you can, you know, it's not only for the color, but it's also good for you. Now I'm going to add my chili powder and then get a masala. So all of our spices are in, all of our ginger garlic paste, everything is in. Now you just cook it like for like a, a minute, turn the heat really low. Once you put the chili powder, get a masala, all that powder, make sure you turn the heat really low, otherwise you're gonna burn the whole thing. Okay, so now I'm gonna add cilantro, peas, mix it up. Then I'm gonna add my potato. 
So you can add your potato and then mash it together, or you can mash all the potato before it goes in, and you can mix it up. Okay, so right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix it up really good, and then I'm going to mash it. Now we didn't put our salt because I already have salt when I cook the potato. And I also put a little bit of sprinkled, a little bit of salt while I was cooking the onion. So be careful with the salt. You can always taste it and put it at the end. Okay. Now I'm going to take this thing and mash it. Okay, so we're going to mash it. Add some salt if you need it. Okay, so now I'm going to taste and see if it, if it has enough salt in it. No, it does not have enough salt in it, so I'm going to add some salt. I can say a half a teaspoon is what I'm putting, but you all know how to taste the salt, so mix it up. Now our stuffing is ready. Okay, so now I'm going to make the paste. Okay, so here I'm going to make the paste to close the tortilla shell. I will show it to you. This is actually two tablespoons of um, all-purpose flour. And then this is hot water, boiled water. I'm going to put a little bit of boiled water and mix it up and see how it's dried. We need a little bit more water. Just add the water very slowly and thick it in, make it into a very thick paste um, so that we can use it. Um, to close the tortilla um, after we make the samosa we have to close it okay so see how it is it's like a very paste form and this is how exactly well you can add a little bit more water so add water slowly to make it into a thick paste okay so now so this comes like a very thick gluey paste so this is what you want. So now we have our um, thick paste is ready. So our filling for the samosa is ready. Now the next part is we're going to start making the samosa. So I have four tortilla here. First, what you have to do is uh, where's my knife? Where are you? Where are you? Okay, so first I'm going to cut this half. Be very careful. This is the tricky part of the samosa. So you cut it half. Now take one half and then you look where the center is, okay? This is where the center, you make a little cut with your nail, just a, just a little mark. Then you fold it right there first, okay? And then you take the other part and fold it this way. Ta-da! You have a triangle shape samosa filling. I mean, this is where you put the filling in. Okay, one more time. So you take the center, you fold it, okay? Then you take this part and cover it over, fold it again. Now you have the samosa shell is ready. So you don't have to go through all that dough and making this is the tastiest samosa you can make out of. Tortilla gives the great flavor. So. Now I'm going to take one spoon and you put it inside and you don't want to fill it all the way to the top. You want to fill it up to three quarters. Okay. All you don't want to fill it all the way to the top. Now, remember we have this part to close. We have this part to close. That's where you take your glue and paste. You put it around. You close it, okay? Now you have this part. You close it. 
it's all closed and ready. Okay, so our oil is hot and ready. Um, so I'm going to put my samosa there and I'm going to put the other one. Okay, so you, you just don't want to walk away from this because what you're basically trying to do is trying to cook the uh, tortilla. Um, and the tortilla cooks really fast. And as soon as it's really nice and crispy, you can pretty much take it out because you're, the stuffing is already cooked. It's already, you don't have to wait to cook all the way through. Okay, our samosa is all ready. Now I'm going to make the chutney. It's a green sauce that you um, get it with the samosa. So for that, what I have is I have um, a cup of cilantro and I have just a little bit of mint. You don't want to add a lot of mint because it overpower. You don't want that. And I have a small tomato and I have a tiny bit of cumin seed and I'm going to add a little bit of ginger. So first I'm going to grind all these things together. That's what I'm going to do. So I have my one cup of cilantro here. I have my mint leaves here. You're going to um, take the stem out and you're going to just use the leaves. Okay. Just a little bit of mint uh, leaves because mint leaves, if you put it too much, it, it's really strong. So you just want to add a little bit and then I'm going to add a little bit of pinch of cumin seed. And then I'm going to put one tablespoon of lemon juice and I'm going to add two tablespoon of lemon juice, three tablespoon of lemon juice. It's, it's very lemony. And then I'm going to put a quarter teaspoon of ginger. If these things are optional because some people don't like um, lots of ginger taste and you don't have to add that. And I have one tomato that I'm going to slice it and add it together and I'm going to add a little bit of salt and then um, salt to taste um, and then I'm going to blend this together. So here I have the chutney is all grinded together and I wanted to tell you the three tablespoon of lemon juice that I put it in. It's a little lemony so you don't have to add that much if you don't like that much lemony and you can also Avoid ginger. Some people don't like ginger that much. You can add more tomatoes to it. So anyway, it becomes like a very thick, um, creamy, lemony flavor. So uh, this is all ready and I'm just going to pour it in here. So we have our sauce ready. And here we go. So my samosa. My chutney, all this is ready. Please try it. And I know a lot of my friends at work who sees this recipe, they have already tasted it. I hope you all had fun watching this video. Please try it at home and I'll see you next time.